Where do I go in late January whenever I want some good quality barbecue? Well, the Pig Fest at Tiger Town, of course. With over 300 competitors that sell ribs, pork, chicken, brisket, and more, it's sure to get exactly the kind of barbecue you're looking for. The idea for Pig Fest started way back in 1994 when a small group of businessmen attended a barbecue championship. Lakeland first welcomed its barbecue competitors in 1997, but in 2005, the Junior League of Lakeland became the lead organizers and do an outstanding job providing volunteers each year. The Pig Fest not only offers lunch and dinner, but desserts as well. They consist of strawberry shortcake, funnel cake, cheesecake, and more. If you attend the Pig Fest, you may want to purchase some pig bucks. Pig bucks allow you to buy food and fun activities at vendor stands. Some activities include blow up, jumpy jumps, face painting, and train rides. Well, this has been Hannah Sells signing off for KTV News. I'm going to have to break it to you fast and easy. FCAT is coming up next week. I know, I know. It snuck up on all of us, including me, and I'm almost ready for everything. But I'm here to save you with some tips on how to prepare for the FCAT. When you come home from school, put on your favorite PJs and pick out your favorite snack. And while you're eating your snack, ask your mom or dad to fix your favorite meal. Or you can go out to your favorite restaurant. You won't need to be studying for the FCAT because your teachers have been teaching you the material you need to know on the FCAT all year long. If you have some peppermints lying around the house, it's good to find them so you can eat one before you take the FCAT. Research shows it stimulates the brain, so it keeps on working while you're taking the test. Remember, you want to get a good night's sleep. And I know you don't want to go to bed early, nobody does. But you need at least eight or nine hours of sleep for good concentration during the test. So it's time to go to bed. FCAT morning, you're going to be really tired because you just had an amazing night of sleep because you went to bed early. So maybe have a healthy drink like orange juice to wake you up. And maybe a fruit like an apple. And maybe some waffles. That all sounds like a good breakfast to me. But if you don't like waffles or orange juice, you could try some milk with toast and jam. Or if you like fruit, you can try a fruit bowl. Thanks for tuning in, LCMA, and I hope you do wonderful on your FCAT. This has been Hannah Siles reporting for KTV News. Hey, LCMA, today's show is going to be all about pancakes like pancake history, different kinds of pancakes, and even how to make pancakes. We have lots to cover today, and KTV starts now. Lots of people eat their pancakes and pay no mind to who made the first pancake, what the pancakes can be used for, and where the pancakes came from. Pancakes have been around for quite a while. Actually, the pioneers were the first ones to come up with the idea of a flapjack. They made it from cornmeal, which made it more of a cornbread but it evolved into the pancakes that we eat today. So, what is a pancake? A pancake is a thin, flat cake prepared from a batter, and it's cooked on a griddle or a frying pan. Pancakes are made all around the world. Hey, and speaking of world news, here's Jared. Well, that about wraps our show up. This has been Hannah Stiles reporting for KTV News. Have a great day, LCMA. Do you remember as a little kid, you used to love animal crackers? Well, they've come a long way since then, in the 1800s. Originally, Stouffer's was the first one to own animal crackers. That is until they became Barnum's animals in 1902, when Nabisco took over. Nabisco got the name Barnum from a famous circus showman, P.T. Barnum. And the little strings you see on the animal cracker boxes, those were made to hang on the Christmas tree. But they did that in the 1800s. Now whenever you go to the store and buy some animal crackers, you know just a little bit more about them. This has been Hannah Sells, signing off for KTV News.
Hola, LCMA. It's me, Hannah, to tell you about our very own movie premiere night we're having in our very own school. It's going to be on March 2nd, 2009, and tickets are five bucks if you want to purchase one. I think five bucks is pretty cheap for seeing red carpet stars, two red carpet interviews, Carly and Renee, fashion extraordinaires, and you're going to be seeing four movies, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Dawn of the Night, The Smart Night, and Paranoia. We hope to see you there at LC May's first annual movie premiere night. I bet a lot of you don't really go to the school store, but there are a lot of useful things that they sell in there, such as pencils and grippers and lead. So the next time you're caught without a pen, go directly to the school store. It opens at 8 and it closes at 8.30. Hey guys, it's Hannah with your brain teaser of the day. Today's brain teaser is about jelly beans. If your answer is C, you're correct. You aren't going to be eating any jelly beans because there's only a jelly bean jar in front of you. There's no jelly beans in it. Well, this has been Hannah Sells with your brain teaser of the day. Fire! I've heard that human carelessness is one of the reasons that wildfires start. Actually, 9 out of 10 humans can start a fire. But I've never really heard of a squirrel starting a fire. Well, here's Jared with some more information. Did you know, did you know, did you know that teens experiment with marijuana more than any other drug? Pretty disgusting. It's horrible. I know. Yeah. It's pretty horrible and disgusting. Well, here's Gabby with a special report on marijuana. Hey, 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 LCMA. Phoebe wasn't on the last show because, because, well, I don't, I don't really know. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, she was brushing her teeth? That's why she wasn't on the last show. Anyways, KTV? Start now.